What's happening, my friends? What's going on? Welcome to the channel. I'm Brian, the Divine Healer, here with you. About to do your Leo to the Virgo cusp reading. That's right. Whoa. Welcome, my friends. How are you guys doing? Look at this. Ooh. I'm doing fantastic. I hope you guys are well. Yep. Getting ready for that big old weekend, right? Good. I want to throw some shout outs to my members and my subscribers and you, of course, noobs who clicked this video for the very first time. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for your support. Okay. So I'm going to just shuffle these decks up here real quick because I got two. Right. And there's, um, you know, it involves your duality. Okay. This is your light and dark side, negative, positive, good and bad. Right. All right, now that we understand, oh, I can't forget masculine and feminine, right? All right, so let's get into it, right? I felt this kind of somber energy. It's not mine, of course, because this is collective energy. That's how I am able to do your readings, okay? Um, it's a somber energy that I feel that somebody's just kind of right like down to the dumps, you know what I mean? So let's, let's just get through this here and see what your story is. What is your message for today, okay? So sit back, relax, grab yourself a drink, and let's get hot. Oh, shoot. You know what? Hold on. Oh, I forgot my lighting. <laughs> it makes a little bit of a difference, right? Just a little bit. Anyways, it's raining. It's raining. It's pouring. Some old man is snoring. Right? Yeah, sweatpants weather today. <laughs> That's about a good thing about working from home. All right. Here's your first two cards, my friend. King of Cups, look at you. Trying to... Well, not trying to. I think that you're... Um, you're gaining your... Or you've gained control of over your emotions okay king of cups is very emotionally stable sound secure right look at the foundation that he's on right see that that's pretty solid okay but you got your toe almost in the water right there so it's like you're eh, kind of getting in your feelings a little bit but not too much okay let's go that's your first card which is your present energy and disclaimer this is your stuff not mine what I find here, I'm just going to help you through it, okay? Second of all, well, well, we'll just leave it there. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, well, second of all, these roles can be reversed, right? So basically, if you're not feeling it yet, just wait. The, I haven't even started, really. Um, it could be somebody you're dealing with if you don't feel this is your energy, okay? So just take that with a grain of salt because you have the hermit here. So you've been doing some analyzing, reflecting, going within. Oh, yeah. The hermit's wise, you know? You got to seclude yourself a little bit to really shut out the noise and to get into this um, inner knowing, inner finding the truth, right? And so that's just kind of what is making you stay emotionally stable. But you, like I said, that toe is just touching the water a little bit. Um it's almost like you're testing the waters emotionally because I feel that you know what the truth is in with inside of you. I know that's crazy, but the truth is in the truth is in within you, and you know this, but you're still testing the waters emotionally. Alright. Wow. Tongue twister. Crazy. Crazy download. Alright. That's your energy, my friends. Let's get into the story and let's see what this is all about. What is this? Look at you. Ah, feeling a little aggressive, are you? Huh? You feel like you want to take some kind of action. You want to maybe have some kind of conversation, right? Maybe you want to bring this in quickly. Mm, that's a good card. All right. That's definitely some action, right? It's like you shine the light on something and you want to speak about it. Hermit, Knight of Wands. Okay. The Knight. Okay, but be sure. 
Page of Wands says, you might think you're ready to have this kind of aggressive conversation. But make sure that you're prepared. Okay? This is what it is. You think that you're ready. It's kind of almost like... Um, ah, I can't find an analogy. <laughs> but definitely... You need to check yourself. That's kind of where I was wanting to go. You need to check yourself because with that page of wands, that's like you're ready to go. Clarifying with this knight of swords, actually this aggressive uh, forward movement, this action you want to take. I don't know what that was. That's a slow ass fly, dude. <laughs> I like palm that shit the whole way over here. Crazy. Okay, I thought flies were pretty fast. Wax on, wax off. Yeah, so um, you better make sure that you're ready to have this kind of conversation. And if you win it within to, um, you know, find this inner truth, I, I think, I, I don't like to implant what I think. I like to just give you the reading off the energy, okay? I don't implant nothing. This is just guidance for y'all. Boom. I mean, somehow I feel that you want to relay maybe even a message, okay? That, that page of wands could be a message. Um, but I really feel more it's like you need to prepare yourself. You better make sure that you're ready and you have all your ducks in a row to have the facts and the truth before you come spitting that shit because... Uh, you could be a little premature. Right. So with that Nine of Wands, it's like you're still maybe, like I said, maybe you want to have a, you want to relay a message about um, you putting things behind you. Okay. Those Nine of Wands, all those wands are behind them. Okay. So this is like reflection. This is also kind of like staying strong. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot and you're still moving forward. Okay. Interesting read with that. Hmm. That was getting deep because it's right underneath the hermit. So you have to, you know, just naturally that energy. When you are a reader, it magnifies it, right? So then it, it, it that nine of wands just isn't a regular old car. Okay. Because it's paired up with that hermit. All right. Let's go. You're ready to change a cycle. Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. This is kind of like maybe some good luck of fortune. I don't know. This is, to me, the Wheel of Fortune is like the world card. Same kind of difference. Okay, because both are changing cycles. Time, like, right? The wheel is turning. The world is turning. That's why those two are very familiar with me in the same um, description of the energy, right? But since we are talking about Leo Virgo, look at the top of the card. See the, the lion up there, the head? Right, the head. The head. So now, because I can know your past readings and how you were just always stuck in your head, right? Right. Knight of Swords, maybe... That's your mind and your communication. So maybe in your mind, you are ready to go because you put things behind you to actually change a cycle. And with that lion head, that would represent the strength card, Leo energy, right? See where I'm going? That's pretty nice. Let's go. Let's go. And see, I'm so fucking smart, dude. I can't even. I can't even. Like, people. I know you don't want to say I'm number one, but you know that I am. Check it out. I was just speaking about how I interpreted the Wheel of Fortune card with the World card. Now, look at in this card. What do you see underneath this Wheel of Fortune? Do you not see the Earth? And is the Earth not represented as the World card? Shut your face. I can't. I'm just mm, killing my time, my friends. All right. Oh, I need this deck. <laughs> 
I got all in myself for a minute. Look at this, nine of pentacles. Okay, so you're definitely single in this moment. So now it's like something with your emotions, okay, that you've kind of logically put together by going within. Um, about putting a message out that you've let things behind in the past go and so now maybe you want to speak about how you're single and you're not attached because that wounded warrior would say that you might have been attached and went through some shit and so now when you can let that go and put it behind you the cycle changed now you're free as a bird see the bird up in there see the bird man I'm telling you people I'm telling you <clears throat> Shut up. Speaking of birds, okay, I just just seen this. Never even noticed in this in this card. Look at here and here. What are those two? Those are cardinals, right? Right. Cardinals is a sign of the divine. That's right, my friends. Do your research. So those two birds here, it tells me that you're kind of being guided a little bit to maybe bring this message to be ready um, because you did go within. So it's not like you're coming in um, unprepared, if that makes sense. But it's on an emotional level because you finally got your mind right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> What you guys got going on? Quickly change from the somber, which you be dipping your toe in the water a little bit, to really going within and finding that light, Hermit. Wow, uh, Virgo energy. Look at this, Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. Now you're ready to go. Okay, Page of Swords, you're ready to go. You weren't sure, maybe you thought so, but you know, you were just going to do it anyways. Okay, but now here with the Page of Swords, you are ready to go. You have all the information you need. Where did that information come from? From you going within, hermit mode, finding that light, analyzing the situation, secluding yourself some, from some bullcrap because that's how you are with the Nine of Wands putting shit behind you because you had to do that to be the hermit to go within and find out what the hell was the problem. Now you're ready to go. Maybe you even want to have a small little conversation over here with that page of swords. Hmm. Very interesting, my friends. Oh, I love your energy. It's so twisty and turny, right? It keeps you on your toes. And it's so fitting because when with that <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, you get that lion in there. That's Leo, right? And then the Hermit, that's a Virgo. So Leo Virgos, oh, we all up in this house. Let's keep going. <laughs> Here's your next card. <gasps> oh, no way. No way. <sighs> Are you serious? Well, my cards don't lie, my friends, but guess what? Drum roll, please. Summer, summer time. Look at this victory. Pow. You'll have success with this, my friends. Definitely success. Victory is yours. Finally, you prepared your mind. Your emotions have always kind of been in check with y'all, but it's your mind that was always throwing you off the rails. So in this reading, um, it's the reverse because his toe was touching the water. You were getting a little bit in your feelings, but then you wrapped it up real quick with your mind. And that was usually opposite for all y'all's readings in the past. Here's your next card. Shut your face. I mean, shut it right now. I see you. This is what you're saying. I see you. With the eyeball there uh, 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 on top of the Ace of Cups. I see you. I know who you are. I want this. I want this opportunity. And we have the moon cycles. Two, four, two, four, six. There's one short. Two, four, six. Is there seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six moon cycles? I thought there was seven. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there is seven because they don't have the new moon and it would be all blacked out. What? 
this is a fraud. No, I'm just kidding. But pretty much, right? It's a misrepresentation of the moon cycles because there's no new moon, which would be the blackout moon. You can't see the moon. That's why it's a new moon. People think that the full moon is a new moon. No, the full moon is the end of the cycle, beginning of the new one. Let's go. This is an opportunity for you. This is what you see now. Wow, what else is in here? The koi fish everywhere. Hmm. I think koi fish are good luck. I'm not sure. Fact check me. But I'm pretty sure. And guess what? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is good luck and good fortune. So that's a clarity. That's like clarifying. What? I'm just going off the deep end. Let's keep going. <laughs> Dude, I'm a highly intelligent person and I get into my stuff, right? I just don't sugarcoat it, right? If you want me to help you and get into your energy, I'm going to dig all up in it, okay? I just don't surface ride that shit. And a lot of people don't understand it because why? It's too deep for them. It's too intellectually strong for them. Their mind is not capable of the intelligence that I can perform with my mouth and spit all the truth of what the details are for you. Correct. Look at you. Giddy up. Yep, there's your Leo side coming on out. <laughs> You got that Knight of Swords. I mean, the Knight of Wands underneath the Page of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. You definitely want to take action now because you're single to mingle and you want to get it hot. Right? You want to jump on your horse and you want to start taking action. But it's like passion. It's like fire. It's like your drive. Because that's what Wands represents. Like that motivation, that drive, that soul level energy, that deep down passion, right? Okay. Well, you're ready to go. <laughs> Let's keep on going. You want to go towards somebody of your past. I mean, uh, this past person, I think we've already discussed this person and how you think about this person and how you have you know, nostalgic feelings about this person. Because this isn't the only reading that this Six of Cups energy has shown itself. So I'm sorry. But there's definitely some of your past that you have not been able to let go. Maybe because it was a little of your ego. Maybe your mind was just getting you too um, overwhelmed. You know, because sometimes when you have these strong feelings, your mind can just go crazy. You don't know where to go. You don't know how to place yourself. You don't know what to do. That's why love is so great. Because <laughs> it makes us like that, right? It makes us stupid. Fool in love, right? They say. All right, let's keep on pushing forward, my friends. Whew. Look at you. You want to invest. Oh, my God. I, You know, I do not dictate this reading whatsoever, consciously or subconsciously, so there's no projection of my energy into these cards because I'm... I'm not investing in anything, and here comes your seven of pentacles. So, obviously, you can leave me out of it. Hint, hint, certain people. Because <laughs> I've actually had somebody say that to me, and I was, I was like flabbergasted. I was like the gall, right? It was a projection of the projection. So somebody thought I was projecting onto them through a reading, but it was really them projecting their insecurities on me because the reading was so damn accurate. Because I can't tell what card's coming out. It just comes out. I just got to interpret that energy for you. And you got a whole lot of it. Hmm. I mean, just the pictorials alone, that Seven of Pentacles is staring right at the Six of Cups. You definitely want to invest in somebody in your past. Shut your mouth. Because this is what you've been analyzing. Finally ready to step it up. But just a little bit at a time. You know what I'm saying? Shut your mouth. Okay. 
Not all the time that this lover's card pops up in every reading, straight up. But certain signs, this mofo comes out all the damn time. So when are you ever going to understand what I'm talking about? The Wheel of Fortune, you put shit in the past with the Nine of Wands, with the Ace of Cups, a new opportunity in love, which will be successful with the Six of Wands, with your friggin' Twin Flame, that is your investment. You, okay. We're wrapping that up, though, because you finally got your mind a little right to want to start to go this way. So now, hopefully, you finally understand everything with this damn hermit. Because this just resonates with y'all so much. It kind of can't for Leo, too, because you guys kind of share the same sign with that Leo. <sighs> Let's get your verdict. I mean, I don't know how many ways I got to tell you, how many know, how many ways I got to show you that what this person is to you is the real deal truth. And in your past readings, you've all been denying that shit in your mind, but your heart always told you something different. First cardio verdict is this. Oh, pony up, sucker. Okay, here it comes. Nine of Cups, there's the offer. I can feel this energy so strong. It's like, what? Man, book a flight, something, get in the truck, go, boom. Yeah, you're ready for the long haul. Finally. Finally. This is long term. This is like slow and steady wins the race, my friends. This is finally taking action to get the stability that you want in your life. And what is that stability? Whatever you were investing in emotionally, which was your twin flame for a brand new opportunity, but you had to change the cycle because you weren't ready to speak your truth. Even though you went within with the hermit to find out your truth, which was just a really reflection of your emotions. Now the gates are open. We're done. That has been your reading, my friend. It's been emotional for me with you guys, okay? It really has. But nonetheless, I enjoy this because I love to see you guys grow and just mm, perfect yourself, right? Whether it's mentally, emotionally, physically, logically, whatever. Um, it's great. Chance of progress is great. Finally, we're making some here with this reading. Oh my God. Tell all your friends about my channel. Please bring them on over. Have them subscribe. Binge my playlist. Tell everybody about it. Be brave, be bold, and be well. Peace and pray every day, my friends. And I'll see you on the next one.